Hello Genossen, today we're going to be going over my East German chemical impression. So, today we're going to be going over my East German chemical, or East German NBC reconnaissance impression. So, before we start today, I'd like to give a shout out to a friend of mine on Instagram who helped out and who suggested this kit and helped me out through the way. His ad is Matthew Summerland, so you, uh, the link will be in the description, it'll also be on the screen right here. So, I just, big thanks to him for helping me with this kit and getting me to do this. And so, yeah, that starts the video. Alright, so we'll start from the top to bottom like we usually do. And on top, I'm not wearing it right now because then you wouldn't be able to hear me talk, is the gas mask. And the correct gas mask would actually be the SMCH, SCHMS-41, which is a Soviet-designed gas mask, which is actually, the Soviets call it the SMH-41 or SHM-41, something like that. The East German, in German or East German, they would call it the SCHMS or SCHM-41. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this impression. This is a fun impression to do. It's not really exactly a field uniform, it is kind of a field uniform, but it's, it's different and it's definitely interesting. So I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day. Auf Wiedersehen. One. So I just went and bought a GP5 and it works fine for this kit for now. So then attached to the, the gas mask itself is the gas mask hose, which just screws on like the filter would and then it goes down into the bag, which I'll show you in a minute. So, next is the suit itself, and the suit is kind of a rubbery plastic, kind of like vinyl material, and that, that material is the whole suit, and I'm guessing that had to do with like keeping out chemicals and such. So, and the suit has a hood, which goes over when you're wearing the the gas mask, but also you could wear the uh, helmet without the hood and just put the gas mask on underneath it, or not even wear the gas mask if the situation didn't require it. So moving down, we have the suit, which just is a button up, but it has like two layers, it has like a layer that folds in and a layer folds on top of that, and then it buttons, so it's pretty sealed, because you wouldn't just want to have the buttons and then having certain chemicals and stuff get in. Uh, down below that is the gas mask bag, and the gas mask bag is really, we, it's on the regular field uniform, but in this one it's really sh it really has its purpose, and I'll go over what's inside the bag in a little bit, but for now I'll just show you that here I have the gas mask which hose, which I don't actually put onto a filter because the filters are dangerous and they have asbestos in them, so I just put it into the bag, and it has a little loop that you can put it on, and it would go into a pocket. So that would, that's connected to the gas mask. In this main pocket, we'll go over in a minute. Then I have the belt with the regular combat gear, and I'm not gonna go over all this stuff now because I already have a video on that, and you can check that out, but I'll just go over each piece, but, but not really go into depth. So we got the grenade pouch, we have the shovel, the bayonet here, it's kinda underneath the gas mask bag, and the canteen and all that stuff would just stay on the belt and you put the belt on over the NBC suit and underneath it I'm wearing the field uniform the street time uniform all right so moving all the way down to my feet there are actually like the, there are no boots for this they're built into the NBC suit if you can see and it's just like connected to the leg and there's two straps that go over it to kind of tighten it around your ankle and they've got a pretty protect pretty heavy-duty sole on them still rubber sole but it means you don't have to wear a pair of boots over this which makes it pretty efficient so I forgot to buy a pair of gloves and I kind of remembered it this morning or yesterday just kind of before I was gonna film this video so just kind of have to imagine that I'd have gloves there the gloves are made out of the same material as this and they're pretty long gloves just to keep the whatever's on you out so this suit is called the SAB 
SAB2, and there was also an SAB1. And the SAB2 is actually a two-piece suit. If you didn't tell, if you couldn't tell, this is a one. It's a top piece and a bottom piece. So a pair of pants and boots connected, and the my coat. But the SAB1 was basically a big jumpsuit. So it was one piece. And the SAB2 went came after the SAB1, which makes sense. But it didn't completely replace it as it came later in the DDR when things were kind of slowing down with the economy and such. So the suit is actually, it's called an NBC suit. An NBC stands for Nuclear Biological Chemical. And that, the suit, that means that this is, uh, they would basically have certain soldiers, or I'm not sure if it was issued to all soldiers or not, but they'd carry it on their Y straps and then they could put it on when a situation would become necessary for them to wear this. Instead of having like just a gas mask or something which they'd carry in their bag. Which brings me to what's in the bag. So inside the gas mask bag itself, you would obviously have the gas mask and the hose, and it would be connected to the filter in, there's a smaller pocket on this side that a coffee can filter would fit in. And underneath there's a little hole in the bottom of the bag to let air to flow through. Then you'd also have a pair of cotton glove liners which would go underneath the the rubber NBC gloves which would also be in here. Then on the outside there's kind of a thin outside pocket, I mean not outside but close to the outside of the inside of the bag if that makes sense, that there would be an NBC poncho in there. So it's not as heavy duty as the suit but it would be used in less um, critical situations but in a situation where you didn't want to just be wearing your field uniform. There would also be a pair of anti-fog lenses in the bag as well as chemical detection paper and a decontamination kit which would go in this little outside pocket. Uh, all that stuff, I learned all that stuff from Matthew Summerlin. Again, link will be in the description to his Instagram. A big help for this entire kit. Just, I wouldn't have been able to know any of that stuff without him. So, don't forget to check him out. So to show you some comparison from the SAB1 to the SAB2, I can show you some pictures from Matthew Summerlin's Instagram. So you can check that out. Those will be, his Instagram is in the description, again. And the pictures will be up on screen now or whatever. So you can see on these pictures that it's a full piece suit rather than just the two piece, the, or a full uh, one piece suit rather than the two piece suit. And those were the earlier ones. And then they eventually ended up replacing them. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this impression. It's a fun impression to do. It's not really exactly a field uniform. It is kind of a field uniform, but it's, it's different and it's definitely interesting. So I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day. Auf Wiedersehen.